Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Shenanigans. Uh, so, Dave, you're stepping outside, sword in hand, ready to fight the brown bear. Uh, I wait, think wait I've got an idea. Black wait, bear. didn't you say black bear? Black bear. Don't I mean, worry, dude, I've got this. I have a plan. It, the I've coloration of the too. fur is brown, but it's like black bear. It's a black bear, because black bears can come in black or brown. Oh, okay. Species black, color brown. We don't see color. That's really unfortunate, man. Like, it's <laughs> a, a real joy to no, be able to see different spectrums of light. for my character in skills and powers. <laughs> yeah, you can't see the color of genitalia. All right, so I'm going to take my baby backpack, which I which I <laughs> built yes. in the yes. very first episode, which is reversible, to the baby front pack. So I move the front pack to the babies now on my back is a baby backpack. All right. And I go over oh, and I grab oh, the demon baby. and I'm going to grab the uh, the moose head. Uh huh. We're like, are are like bears? Are like you a, a natural enemy with a bear or something? Maybe you got the horns. All right, we're going to find out. And they go ah, and I'm like charging at the door with. Okay, don't forget, Dave stood in the doorway. Please don't shovel moose <laughs> up Dave's house. D- Dave's in the door <laughs> with his swords out. Sam has like has the baby on his back, the moose head in hands, and is running for the door. What is Gerald doing? Uh, Gerald's getting up, strapping on his shield, getting out his mace, and then getting ready to attack the bear. All right, let's roll initiative. D10 plus your weapon speed or spell speed. If you are charging with a moose, that is a weapon speed of four. Or did the skills and powers well, three, Neil? You know what, Rob? It's four. A moose is awkward. No, it says ah, right here, moose, moose head, right, right under uh, deer head, elk head. <laughs> this is why the skills and powers is broken. All right, moose head is supposed to be four. They buffed it to three. So one d ten plus five. Okay. <sighs> Do, 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 do. It has been 84 years since I have done D&D. All right, the bear goes first. Dave's open the door, and the bear immediately goes up on its hind legs and brings its claws oh, to bear against you. Uh, that is a two's a miss, an eight's a miss, but this is probably a hit. What's your armor class there, Dave? Uh, 11. I have a shield as well. 11? Do you have any armor on? Uh, not really, no. All right, all right. So it's just, just you have nine hit points? Yep. Cool, cool. Uh, One of the bear's claws comes down on you and bats you around. Uh, You know, it's only a single point of damage. Um, Thank God the bear didn't roll any higher. Uh, And just like claws you across the chest for one point of damage. Uh, and then next up, we have Sam and Dave at the exact same time. All right, so uh, you're blocking the doorway. Mm-hmm. Currently getting, you know, lacerated by a bear. So uh, may, may I go I first? Go step back. I got this. Or no, step man, forward. I got this. Wait, wait. I got well, this. Once I get my shield up, I also have an AC of 23. So, so maybe. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast uh, glitter dust at the bear. Ooh, you cast. Oh, that is the awesome spell. That's a Pocket good one. Band. Um, <laughs> okay. Hold on, you just got hit. Uh, but, uh, yeah, he's casting a spell, whatever. It's a bear, it's fine. I guess technically it might interrupt his spell. He hasn't started yet. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to just let it slide here. Glitter uh, dust. Also, glitter dust has a casting time of two instead of five, so then she, Dave, actually would have gone at the say uh, before the bear. So that's how it works. But the bear attack. Let's call them simultaneous then. Initiative orders. Perfect. Actually, it is. Yeah. Perfect. Blah! The bear fails at saving throw Blah! as glitter dust falls all over the area. There's a, a twenty by twenty by twenty cube filled with sparkling golden dust that shines down. It blinds the bear. And uh, comes in handy for uh, stage shows as well. Yeah. Well, like, oh, good, good move, Gerald. <laughs> huh? It wasn't me. Samuel, it's your turn. Rock and roll, dudes! I'm like, Dave, step out of the way. 
Okay. Can I can I move? Or you can, yeah, you can step out of the way. It's fine. <laughs> I'm just gonna be like, oh damn. Okay. All so right. I'm, I'm like run up towards it with the the moose head. I'm like yeah yeah, and I'm like oh wait the 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 no, horse, slow. The head, the no. Head. I turn it sideways so that I can fit it. Kenya <laughs> uh, <laughs> is complaining loudly as you jam his antlers towards the the bear. Please make me a roll to hit with the moose head. I'm like, do you think you'd have to enemy, say that, Neil? You know, you say things you never expected you would ever say while playing D&D campaigns. Uh, Sam, are you proficient with moose head? Uh, no, I'm not, but I think it falls under the... Dave's provision with sweat. head. <laughs> no, well, a three, a three. That. I, I was hoping that maybe, since I've never heard of a bear eating a moose, that they must be natural enemies, or maybe bears thought that mooses were, like, too tough to deal with. Oh, yeah, mooses are way too big for a bear to deal with. Mooses are huge animals. They're huge. They are, they're basically Ice Age megafauna that didn't die out. Yeah. Um, so you so miss just, with the three to hit. But, uh, I'm, but I'm trying to scare it. I'm like, right. this is your natural enemy, maybe. Right, right. All right, fear Gerald. It. You must have an instinctual fear. Oh, Can I get to the bear to make an mace attack? Uh, Sam is standing in the doorway, unfortunately. You could bust out the window, but Desmond would make you to pay make you pay for the repairs. Uh... It's going to be stupid. I waddle out the back, start running around the side. <laughs> well, the second edition rounds are a full minute. You can circle around the bar in a minute and come up behind the bear. Makes me the bear. Okay. Ooh. 18. Uh, the 18 will actually hit the bear very strongly. Well, we'll see uh, how, much, how strong it actually hold is. Hold on. Yeah, let me re recheck mace damage. D6 plus one. Bum, ba, rum, bum, ba, rum, bum. Five damage. You crack the bear for five points of damage. Um, and we go to the next round of initiative. You hear Desmond calling from inside the bar. Get him, guys! You got this! Uh, what would you like to drink, sir? As you guys roll for initiative. Yeah, this would be much too challenging for someone who's known for killing dragons. Definitely have to get us. Totally retired. Uh, initiative, D10 plus whatever you're doing, plus your weapon well, speed. Just, well, what I'm doing depends on did did waving the moose head in its face have any impact? Uh, yes, it had an impact. It, well, you'll right. have to wait until the bear's turn to see exactly Ow, what it does in response, but yeah. All right, so I'm going to continue with the moose head if it's having an impact. Mm -hmm. We're definitely Continue having Continue giving the bear head. That's right. <laughs> well, you were the one who wanted to pee on it before. <laughs> You're the one who introduced intimate activities into this whole thing. <laughs> and that was, that, was, that was during the break. Kelly has a beard. There's a bear offense it's, of it's, maneuver. It's good to have you back, Chloe. <laughs> uh, yeah, I hear one class of us the would have... Would have no, would have been bringing in, waving to Natalia as a strategy, as an anti-bear strategy before you came back. Uh, I'm going to get sloppy drunk on tequila and talk about peeing on bears. Because that's what I'm like. That is our Saturday afternoon, everybody. Uh, can you roll some initiative here, Chloe? Maybe from experience? Just out of curiosity? Uh, what? No. Where would I? What? Okay. Uh, once again, the bear goes first. Uh, but it's blinded. And from the fabulous. And fabulous. So the oh bear uh, makes claw and bite attacks against the moose head. Um, at minus four because it's blinded. But these are still hits. Uh, it actually hits with both of its claws and its bite. It's rolled really well. 215 oh, to 17. No. So the moose head, the moose starts screaming in pain as the bear claws it to shreds. Uh, this has to be re -rolled. Uh, is it the, dead? The moose, I thought it was his natural enemy. The moose takes eight <laughs> points of damage. Um, and I guess it's just the moose head. And so it just kind of gets like ripped apart. Like parts of the moose just start falling off 
and the the stuffing from inside the taxidermied moose head just starts pouring out of it, uh, as well just as some chunks of apples. Yeah. yeah. Ah, I'm sorry. I thought you would scare it. Uh, oh my next, god, dude! Have, like minus four to hit being blind. <laughs> yeah, it does, and it's got plus three to hit from a stacko, so it rolled a 14, 14, 16, okay. which I think are Hold hits on. on a moose head. I'm glad it hit the moose head and not Dave, to be honest with you, with that. Yeah, on it's... a scale of one to absolutely stupid, can I Orson the moose head? <laughs> You'll have to find out. Dave, it's your turn. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, uh, hmm. Uh, I'm going to back off a bit and, and then cast a magic missile at the back. Mm. <laughs> Just stop the moose. Like, Damn, poof. All right, throw me your magic missiles. I think it's 2d4 plus 2 at your level. You're like level 2D4. 3, right? Uh, I think I'm level 4. Or, yeah. You should have more hit points. But than you're five. you're not level 5 yet. Yeah, that's that's the kiss of death. Um, level 5 is where it becomes 3d4 yeah, level plus four. 3. All right, cool. okay. Uh, I think? Yeah, 2d4 yeah. plus 2. All right, roll. 2d4 plus Ooh, your darts strike the bear in the chest and the the front of the bear actually like rips open a little bit and falling out of the bear is stuffing. It just kind of like falls onto the ground at its feet. Ah, damn it. What the fuck? Uh, Next up is Sam holding a moose, uh, some of a moose head, not very much of a moose head. Yo, dude, that thing looks flammable. I'm like, I'm sorry, racist moose. I didn't mean to do that to you. Yo, you got to torture I'll, something. I'm going to drop the moose head. And I've got... I don't have a... a torch, but I know where to find one. And I cast Sun Scorch and make a sunbeam come down and strike the bear in the ass. All right. Uh, roll me some damage. I guess the bear gets a save, which it fails... Sunstrike, right? Yeah, Sunscorch. Sunscorch, there we go. That is D6 Six plus one plus per caster seven. level. Sam's level one. Yes. All right, the bear is scorched. Does it also set things on fire? No. No. It's just a beam from the sun. Get a magnifying glass and hold it still. <laughs> and last but not least, we have Gerald. Can I switch my action to Orison the moose head? You got to touch the moose head, and the bear is between you and the moose head here. The, the bear is the, blind. That's true. Wait, is it technically I, undead? Given That's a good question. We'll find out. Gerald. All right. Yeah. So can I touch the moose head to Orison it? Yeah. You you put yourself between the bear and the moose head in order to Orison the moose head. Okay. Uh, well, I Orison the moose head. Okay. It doesn't seem to have an effect. The moose head it just kind of stays the same. Uh, and we Aww. will go into our third round of combat. And living creatures are also blinded for 1d4 round. So it's, I guess it depends if it's alive or dead. And it could be, I mean, From we can find scorch? out what happens when you're blinded by by Sun Scorch and Glitter Dust. Well, you can't be double blind. blind. That doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Does it stack, though? Does the time stack, huh? <laughs> that was really good, Rob. I actually really enjoyed that one. Well done. Well done. Uh, please roll me initiative, guys. <laughs> set up, but... Yeah, no, that was, that was golden. That was golden. Oh, Dave Growl. Fast initiative here. Oh. Um, six, nine, and Robert? Um, How long does it take to put on a shield? I don't know. Whatever. You, you decide. Like a round? Can I do that this round? Sure, you can do that this round. Okay. So I'm All shielding right. it. Uh, the moose, the, I'm sorry, the bear goes first and continues to claw at the moose head in front of it, which has been replaced by Gerald. But it rolls a one and a seven minus four plus three uh, is a, a six and a 12 minus four plus three is 11. Uh, does an 11 hit you, Gerald? No. 
All right. The bear flails at Gerald while freaking out. Um, doing its best to kill whatever it is in front of it because the moose, the bear is terrified. Uh, followed by Dave Growl's turn. All right, Dave is going to run back into the bar. Okay. Um, grab his bottle of tequila. Okay. And, uh, you know, a, a lit piece of wood from the fireplace. Okay, I think I see where this is going. And then get as far back outside as he can. Okay. I'm assuming can't, I can't do any sort of yeah, like... Yeah, th that seems like a full round action, like squeezing okay. the bar, moving between the people, grabbing the stuff. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Uh, next up is Gerald. All right, so it's blind. It's blind. It's covered in this glowing dust. It's been like hit all over the place and it's starting. It's stitching is coming undone and it's okay, falling so apart. What's the bonus to hit for blind and glitter dust then? A plus four to hit. Does Glitter Dust also provide additional? Nope, uh, nope just okay. the plus four, I believe. Um, That'll hit the bear. And that damage. is the exact amount of damage needed to bring the bear hey. down. You mace it over the head, the bear flops on the ground and lies still. If it's dead, I don't know if just going to like toss the uh, toss the torch on top of it and take a swig of the tequila. The bear. All right. All right. Let me I'll do some research here to see if the bear catches fire or not. In the meantime, there's like a, a round of applause coming from inside shenanigans, uh, followed by uh, Desmond saying, good job, guys. Next round's on me. No, hold on. Okay, so that bear was like stuffed, right? That's that's not that's that's like a reanimated bear. Darn it! I just got my. Is this the end of the world, guys? Is this like what the hell? Neil. I think I'm seeing a pattern. Yeah. Does this mean that the dragon had crew bar stuffed and mounted? Dave gets his sword and goes to find Crew Bob. Um, Neil, so can I start? Early stuffing mm. was like cotton or rags or uh, all sorts of stuff. So Sawdust, yeah, the, quite flammable. Yeah, so the, the bear just goes up. <laughs> can I start uh, praying for a rememorized spell? No, nah, this is like near the end of the day. Right, but didn't we add last time that like you can spend 15 <sighs> minutes to change level? spells that you have yeah sure yeah yeah. yeah all right i'm fine. gonna replace a cure light wounds with mending okay and then try to cast mending on the moose head Oof. please don't reanimate the scary moose head the spell repairs small breaks and tears in objects. It'll weld a broken ring, chain link, medallion, or slender dagger. Providing one break exists. Ceramic or wooden objects with multiple breaks can be invisibly rejoined to be as strong as new. A hole in a leather sack or wineskin is completely healed over. Uh, yeah, it's, you can, the maximum volume of material the caster can mend is one cubic foot per level. Yeah, you can totally mend the moose head. All right. Does it start talking? Nope. That's a shame. I put it's it back on the wall. Now. Right. I'm, I'm going to go and find Crew Barb and, and, and like, if he's not looking, just, like, poke him in the ass with my sword. <laughs> you just go up and stab the kobold in the butt? Gently, you know, fairly gently. Just enough to, like, you know... A gentle stabbing. Break, just, just enough to break the skin, see if he actually, you know... Uh, he gives a yelp and puts his hands on his butt and runs out the door. Uh, but you pull your sword back and there's no blood on the tip. That's not a good dudes, dudes, dudes. Look, look, no blood. Oh man, oh man, we need to we need to sit and and think about this. So so what we've got here is that things are stuffed, and then they're coming back. This is but, the but you just moose. You, had, you were friends with the moose before bef before it got killed. No, nah, I've never met that moose in my life. You were talking I... like you knew each other. And it said it knew you. Yeah. It knew your name. Unless that was that time I got really drunk. No, I don't. Even when I got really 
drunk. I, I don't think I ever. But it knew your name. Remember, it called you Dave. It said, I don't think I can do that. Look, dude, okay, it's a stuffed moose head that came back to life, okay? We don't know what did it. We don't know why. We don't know who's going to mess. Maybe somebody's messing with me. Well, well, I guess, it's, see, it's kind of an important point because if it's like spirits of the dead that are possessing um, um, taxidermied stuff, or if it's like the spirit of the thing that was taxidermied. Well, dude, that honestly, it kind of sounded like the centaur I knew, but but different name and shit. So it couldn't have been. But like, oh man, I I do not know, and and I am too sober for this shit. Is the centaur you knew dead? I honestly don't remember. It's been a long time. I don't know. Nobody would know very, what happens to these GM characters after he stops playing them. I was very, very drunk at the time, dude, okay? Like, is the Minotaur dead? I don't know. I think the Minotaur died. I think all is, of my characters okay, uh, okay, have died. Okay, out of character. Is the Centaur dead? Yeah, the Centaur died. Did he? He got murdered by Chucky. Because there was like a riot going on and the centaur was like, oh, I just want to walk yeah, past you guys. It, yeah. And then everybody just like yeah. ganked the centaur, even though he was just chilling and hanging out and having conversations. That was it. God damn it. Know, was, I'm still salty about Chucky. that to this day. Yeah. I, I don't Chucky. remember that. Okay. I guess I wasn't there for that one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh God. Yeah. That was, oh God. It was the wedding. Was it the wedding? Uh, no, I think it was, there was like, people were trying to make Berkshire Desu again or something like that. But not with that line, because the oh, election hadn't happened. Okay, there was something with the way I don't know, but yeah, he's dead. But like, but the the centaur, no, the the the, the moose thought he was a, a moose, right? And but he just sounded like I don't know, man. Hmm. This is weird. This is weird, man. Okay. Oh God, is there is there a taxidermy shop in the town? Oh my god, what if it's like a taxidermist necromancer? Of what if it was a taxidermist? No, wait, that wouldn't make sense because, like, the moose head's been here forever, so it can't be. Unless it's a very I'm just long saying, if there's a con. Shop full of stuffed animals that's now, like, that could be either terrifying or a really cool petting zoo, depending on what was in there. Oh god. Taxidermy dogs. That's just super goddamn depressing. There could be a squirrel army for all we know. <laughs> oh man, you remember that thing with the, like, remember they do the thing with like cats playing cards? Oh, oh God. Uh, you think there might be gambling cats in there? They don't have opposable sums. That could actually be quite profitable. I don't know, man. You know, I have heard that, 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 Cats hit on 16. So, like, maybe that wouldn't be too bad. Anyway, I, I think we should just look. We've, we've dealt with the moose head. We've dealt with the bear. The, the, the cobalt is, like, not our goddamn problem. I think we should just drink more. Yeah. I think maybe we should check if there's a taxidermy shop. Or check anywhere there might be like, oh god, do you think the Woghorts like Great Hall is maybe Man, they have I stuffed am animals? Wizards are. They're wizards. Are. They're kid wizards. They're they're kizzards. Uh, oh wait a minute, is somebody injured? No. Uh, D Dave, yeah, Dave's lost one hit point. He's just got this like slash across okay. his chest. Yeah, the moose. Does this look cool to you? Because I think the chicks would really dig this. I <laughs> or in your chest wound. Okay, leave the blood. Leave the blood. Can you can you leave it kind of scabbed? Make sure it scars, okay? This is like a cool wound. Bear, yeah. I think Joel just ignores you and... Undead bear. Oh, god damn it. <sighs> I have a sword scar, but that never seemed to impress anybody. Can you, like, unheal this just a little bit? Just leave it red? <laughs> I don't think Orson can be used to cause damage. Damn it. Sorry, Dave. <sighs> Dave, Dave just gets out like a little jar of red, like face paint kind of stuff, and just. There we okay. go. Hey, babe. Bear, undead bear. Yeah. You want a drink? No. Where are you going? 
Yeah, I guess technically it was undead, so I wonder if they can be turned. Jake's in this place. It's gonna try turning crew barb. Yeah, why don't you why don't you t- try to turn Crewbarb? He's out hey, there. I don't think Jackson's undead, so I, I kind of stabbed him in the ass a little bit just to check. Um, he might be a little bit, you know, skittish. Maybe he doesn't need to eat. He does. He doesn't bleed. I don't think. Uh, whatever, not my problem. So, what are you guys doing? Do, do you think? That like a taxidermy thing could like be a babysitter. Oh god! I mean, if they're not technically alive, do you have to pay them? Because babysitters are charging a lot these days. When I was a kid, you just you know when you babysat, you were you were lucky if they just you know let you make a sandwich. Out of whatever they had there, and then you know they gave you yeah, a copper. But, dude, but dude, now dude. they're charging some real money. Do, do they charge cleanup as well? I don't want to know what 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 kind of cleanup is happening with the babysitters that you're getting. Um, I meant because the baby, you know. Uh... Oh, I thought you meant like when they have their boyfriend over or something. Uh, yeah, uh, it's, um, no, I, I totally meant clean up, like, the vomit, totally. Oh. Uh, I don't know, they're charging too much, I make, like, nothing. Do, do like, you have, like, like I've the, only had the, one adventure, and of course we didn't make any money during that adventure, because why you have would the, we? Do, do, do you have the number of any of these babysitters? You know, how, house number? Oh, their yeah. addresses? Well, yeah. Dave. See, I don't. I didn't actually go to there. See, I I was talking to Craig. I was I like because I heard that Craig. If you Craig? go talk to him, he's he can find you like people that do anything. He's he, uh. he had like this whole list of babysitters, but I guess he's got lists of all kinds of stuff. Hot chicks. I I think he had some lists for those too, and you could trade things. All and, right, wh- wh- where did you find this Craig dude? And a bunch of them were Greek, apparently. I don't know. It was really weird. Where, where did you find this Craig dude? Just, just out Craig, of curiosity. Craig, oh, it's really, you can find Craig really easily. Pretty much uh-huh. anywhere. What? It's just not a place where there's wires. But if the place is wireless, you can, you can find Craig. <laughs> God. He's listed somewhere. I'm sure you'll find him if you look around. <laughs> <laughs> this is the real reason why we play shenanigans. It's this is for the, the real puns. reason why I drink. Oh, yeah, that too. <laughs> oh, pain. Agony. <laughs> Stirring agony. So maybe we should check the. The taxidermy place, because I'm sure there is one for plot purposes now. <laughs> well, wouldn't you know it? <laughs> right across the street from Bird sh- uh, from Shenanigans, directly across the street, right next right next to Big Ben's brothel, is Paxton's Palace, which is indeed a taxidermy shop. Oh God, that's been here the whole time, hasn't it's it? It's been here the entire time. Oh god, and it's canon now. There's gonna be dead animals in there all the time, and it's canon. <laughs> I guess we should check it out. All right then. For no money, because why would we get paid? Why would we make anything on an adventure? Uh, all right, so you guys head across the street to Paxton's Palace. Is there a broken door or window or anything like the bear escaped? Uh, no. The, the door up. is open, um, wide open, absolutely, but it's not broken. Yo, you guys lose a bear. Oh, God, door opening bears. <laughs> Everyone's worst nightmare. Hey, what was was it smarter than the average bear? Oh, man, it, 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 apparently it was. It was, <laughs> it was a really clever girl. It opened the door now. Oh, my God. 
Let's take us to the, the shenanigans map so we can all see Paxton's Palace. Uh, right across the street, right next to Big Ben's brothel, which has had to be shortened and squatted, uh, the text, so it'll fit. It was really long before. Um, anyway, Paxton's Palace is a, your everyday, ordinary taxidermy shop. It's super freaking creepy. Um, Everything's staring at you. Yeah, well, on top of that, like, all of the... What you presume, and maybe Tet Paxton's Palace isn't actually the taxidermy shop that you thought it was. Maybe it's actually just, like, an indoor zoo. But, uh, like, the, the crow is just, like, hopping along on top of a, a little cage. And inside the cage is, you know, uh, a turtle. And the crow's just kind of hopping along. And the turtle's just staring blindly and occasionally blinking. Um, Somebody seems... stuffed a turtle? That seems sort of like cheating. <laughs> Doesn't it? Doesn't it? I mean, you, I just like, oh, look, I stuffed a turtle. It just pulled its head and feet in. But it's totally taxidermy. Well, uh, here in Paxton's Palace, there are all sorts of creatures that are moving around. There's some very large, like, monitor lizards that are just, like, plopped out on the ground. Um, various other critters. Right. I think Can it's at this point that... Dave so is letting point, everybody Sparky else go. Just, tr just nice tries to turn undead on the entire place. All right. <laughs> you concentrate. You try to turn undead. Give me your d20 roll for how well you turn the undead. Uh, is there a wisdom modifier? I he's higher level than me, so I'm going to let him I don't know. Turning. Just roll the d20 and we'll see what comes up. That's going to be a fail no matter what, I think, right? You're, oh, no, you're not first level. You're like third or fourth level. I'm fourth level. Oh, dear God. All right, let's see that. Might, we might have to see if there's a wisdom modifier on this one or not. Might also just be straight Because if there success. is, I've got a large one. Level four. Um, okay, so at level four, you automatically turn skeletons or one hit die creatures. Um, you need a four or better to turn a zombie. A seven or better to turn a ghoul or a two hit die creature. A 10 or better to turn a shadow or a three to four hit die creature. A 13 or better to turn a white. 16 or better to turn a ghast. A 19 or better to turn a wraith or a six die hit die creature. And a 20 or better to turn a mummy. None it's of the creatures here- It's a read the numbers for each and every category of undead. Yes. None of the creatures here are turned. Oh, I would have uh, thought these would count as zombies then you would have turned to zombie. Dave's just slowly shrinking back towards the door, just like... Maybe we should close the door and burn it down? I think there's some matches somewhere, like, yeah. yeah. Or okay. just sunscorch the whole place from orbit. What about the owner? It's the only way to be sure. Perhaps in another personality, oh. I would have agreed with this. Yo, anybody here that's not, not, you know... Creepy. Hello, Paxton. Anybody know where to find Paxton? You hear a, a shout from the back. Help! Oh my god, there's someone here! Help me! Oh god damn it. Right, come on then, let's go. I'm just gonna head through the shop. Oh, wait, from the uh, back? Is there a back door? Like a I don't know, you'd have to walk around the whole the building. Animal? Is there enough time? To walk around the whole Dave's, building? Uh, Dave's just walking through the middle. Just chink. God yep. damn it. So, okay. Oh, God. Well, I got my paladin shield up, so I guess I'll go in. <laughs> you walk on through. The animated taxidermied creatures are just chilling. So creepy. So creepy. They're just, like, oh, hanging out, doing maybe their thing. Maybe let's not make any loud noises or sudden moves. Yeah, there's like a, a little bobcat that's just like cruising along and has stopped and is staring at you. Uh, there's a bunch of like animal heads stuck up on the walls that are looking around. Some of them are blinking. One of them's trying to lick its nose. It's like, um, what do you call it? A... It's not a moose, it's uh, a deer. Yes. That's the word, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. A female deer? A female deer. Uh, anyway. right. Yeah, I've got a sun scorch, which is a drop of golden sun. So. <laughs> uh, you get towards the, the back, and there is a door there that leads probably into his actual workshop room itself. 
I'm going to try and open the door just a crack. All right. As you go to open the... No, yeah, you open the door. It's fine. You open the door. Okay, I, I just, like, open it just a crack and, like, peer through. Which oh, God, just there's something else that's like... going to set off the whole room. Uh, behind the crack is a big eye looking right back at you. Oh, God damn. How big an uh, eye? Like a, a human-sized eye, but it's just in the crack, so it fills the whole crack. Are you alive? That human size. He nods. Who are you? I, I'm Glenn Matthews. I'm the owner of Paxton's Palace. Help me. That what did you do to these goddamn things? Is this your fault? I just got to do what I got. I, I didn't do no, anything. Look, I'm just going to push the door open. I'm sorry. What are you doing with Paxton? Paxton's Palace just had a really nice ring to it. I'm gonna pull out my dagger and just like grab his hand and just stab him slightly in the hand just to see if he bleeds. Ow! Oh, that hurts! Yeah, there's blood. Oh, why would you okay. do that? I thought you were here because... to save me. Did you get Yo. all the squirrels? Did I get what? The squirrels. What squirrel? You hear the oh, door kind of. You did it, did it, you. Side of you the room. made a squirrel army, you madman. Uh, and as you look around, oh, girls coming nuts. out of the corners of all over the room are dozens and dozens of squirrels. Dozens of squirrels. They come out from behind boxes, behind other stuffed animals, over like, you know, little railings up high or whatever, out from cupboards. Glenn, what have you done? Oh man, I can't even cast glitter dust again. I get, I get bored sometimes and I get my boxing glove and I just, Bam! Smack a squirrel, and I put it in my bag, and I take it home, and I stuff it, and I, and I have meetings with them, but I never expected this would happen. Oh, God. Oh, the gods are punishing how me. Could you, how could you... You knew what the possibilities were, and you still did it. What did and you do? I, oh, what did you do? Dead things eat you, that you really are eaten, and you don't come back in a couple of episodes. And then even if you do, then I hope you get hit in the head with a bat. I didn't follow most of that, but okay. Uh, these squirrels begin to encroach upon you from up high, from down low, from at waist level, from all over the place. The squirrels move in towards you, towards the three of you. What do they want? What do they want? They want you. And he shuts the door. Again. Yes. Why don't we? I hope there's a way out for you because this place is getting burned down. <laughs> well, we're inside it now. Yeah, gonna start moving towards the exit. All right. I think getting that is to the squirrels on the way. I like, the can we to roll for initiative? Can I use the base to just bash through the wall and make my own exit here. <laughs> Wouldn't that be better? Maybe, but it, it appears that Gerald has tried to go for the door and the army of squirrels, they're not having it. Uh, so we're gonna take a short break and when we come back, we are gonna have the players fight the squirrel army in an, escape, in an attempt to escape from Paxton's palace, which I don't know if you guys are gonna try and burn it down with Glenn in it or not in it, but we'll find out. Things Good are gonna job. get nuts. That oh. depends whether or not he has a back door. Or <laughs> What'd you say, Nick? That depends on whether or not he has a back door. Well, if he had a back door to the shop, I don't think he'd be hanging out in it begging for help. Well, I was so, going to make a back door with a mace, but I well, guess. Well, we'll see you guys on the other side of the break and we'll figure it out then. Bye bye. <laughs>